Surprise, surprise, premium streaming services are preying on our psychological weaknesses and they know it. Rather than thinking about them as part of millennial mating rituals, we should think of streaming services as faceless, all-consuming algorithms trying to sell you more of what they've already gotten you addicted to. You don't just like The Office, you might actually have a problem. Priscilla, have you ever binge watched any of my shows? Nope. Wow, fucking rude. According to a 2016 survey, over 90% of millennials and 88% of those in the Gen Z category have engaged in binge watching a TV series. And according to Netflix, their users are streaming over 140 million hours worth of content a day. So why is it that we would rather spend an entire day on our couch drowning in takeout with the blinds down watching the new season of Stranger Things in one sitting over walking the dog or doing the laundry or seeing other human beings. Well, it's because binge watching has essentially made you an addict. And I know that sounds like a stretch, but it's kind of true. Everyone's gotten into a fight with their partner over them like watching the show without the other person. I guarantee you someone is like emotionally disturbed enough to kill over that. And that is literally front page <laughs> Netflix and Kill question mark? Political psychologists have said that binge watching marathons of your favorite show trigger a release of dopamine in the brain. And when you're engaged in any activity that triggers a release of dopamine, the chemical that gives the body a natural high of sorts, the brain reinforces and motivates continued engagement in that activity. Your brain is telling you not to stop, so you don't. And that's how experts have seen people build up something resembling an addiction to TV shows. The neural pathways that lead to drug and sex addiction are the pathways carrying the same pleasure chemicals throughout the brain during marathon sessions of TV. Much like Facebook and Instagram being designed to prey on our psychological need for validation from others, streaming services have found a way to exploit our psychological need to complete things. Humans seriously struggle with unresolved storylines or communications, which is the driving force behind what makes us want to finish a book we didn't like reading, a long saga of movies that haven't been good since the first installment, or a TV series. Which explains why the entire internet complained about Game of Thrones during the entire eighth season, but couldn't stop watching it because we just had to see how it would end. When you combine that with the fact that our brains project real emotions onto characters and events on screen that we're invested in or identify with, you're left with a person who is not only experiencing a mild high, but is now emotionally immersed in fiction and has a very real psychological predisposition and desire to see it end. And that person will put off living in the real world to see how a pretend one comes to a close. Especially since with streaming platforms, you're not forced to wait a week and return to your life like you are with broadcast TV. And all of this coupled together with the time commitment of binging 10 episodes of your favorite emotionally manipulating shows contribute to the reason why you're left feeling drained after you finish the latest season. This borders on withdrawal because your brain's level of stimulation dropped drastically in a matter of seconds when the credits appeared on screen. And it won't surprise you that a study done by the University of Toledo found that out of 408 participants, 142 of them self-identified as binge watchers. And those 142 binge watchers reported higher levels of stress, anxiety, and depression than the 266 people who didn't identify as being binge watchers. And these streaming platforms know all of this. That's why the CEO of Netflix, Reed Hastings, said in a 2017 statement that their biggest competitor is sleep. And we have all had that internal monologue at three in the morning of, all right, just one more. And that's why streaming services release full seasons of shows at once and all the episodes end with a cliffhanger because cliffhangers cause stress and your brain tells you how to relieve that stress. Just wait that extra five seconds and click skip the intro. So in conclusion, binge watch responsibly. Because it's not a matter of if you will binge watch something, it's just a matter of how long you'll binge watch for. Hey, it's Lee, and if you want to see more of these videos, or really just any other videos that Vice makes, click the bell and then click that subscribe button. Your butt's going to vibrate every time something gets uploaded to our YouTube channel.